Because Dakota's bill has not been passed, Phil, and that has not gotten the governor's signature and become law, do you think any child has been harmed because of that? I'm sure there have that we don't know about. That is former Montgomery County Sheriff and current state representative Phil Plummer telling the I-team's John Bedell he fears children have been harmed because more than five months after passing the state house, his child welfare reform plan is not yet a law. Plummer says our I-team reporting system failures in 10-year-old Dakota Collins' 2019 murder prompted him to introduce the legislation. Dakota's dad, Al McLean, is in prison for raping and murdering him after years of torturing the little boy. His girlfriend, Amanda Hines, and her sister, Jennifer Ebert, are also in prison for knowing about the abuse but doing nothing to stop it. The I-team's John Bedell continues his nearly two years of reporting, pushing for answers about why the bill supporters say will prevent deaths like Dakota's has not been signed into law. The criminal cases in connection with Dakota Collins' death ended last month here in court. Since then, the I-team's been in the process of finding out why the legislative reforms prompted by his death have not become law yet. The I-team just got answers that provide new context. The I-team's search for answers started weeks ago, asking Representative Phil Plummer on October 12th why his bill requiring agencies like those that failed in Dakota Collins' murder case to share information appeared to be stalled. What are you doing to make sure that it gets, it gets, it keeps moving? Yep. I called the chairman last week after we spoke and he says, all right, I got it. We'll get on it and he'll talk to the Senate president and you know, they're good people. They want to protect children. So we'll get it going. The chairman Plummer is talking about is in charge of the Ohio Senate's Judiciary Committee. I checked Wednesday and that's where the bill is right now. Miami Valley State Senator Naraj Antani is a member of that committee. I asked Antani for his reaction to Plummer, saying he's sure kids across Ohio have been harmed because the bill has not become law. I'm sure there are, you know, what happened to Dakota Collins is a tragedy and, and an unfortunate situation. You know, I fear this bill doesn't go far enough, quite frankly. You know, this bill uh, uh, only is, is effective if somebody reports a complaint to the ombudsman. We know that, you know, while that may have happened with Dakota, that multiple complaints from teachers and others, you know, around the child filed complaints. You know, what we need is uh, to hold children's service workers accountable. Uh, they fell down on the job in Montgomery County uh, and need to be held accountable. Antani told the I team he does not think the bill goes far enough because he'd like to see children's services workers held accountable, either criminally or civilly. Both of those things have either already been reviewed or already happened in the Collins case. In July last year, Montgomery County Prosecutor Matt Heck told the I-Team his office looked at everyone involved in Collins' welfare case and found nothing anyone did or did not do was criminal. There were no other felony criminal charges available for anyone involved in this case. And as the I-Team reported two weeks ago, Collins estate settled a civil lawsuit against Montgomery County and its Children's Services Agency for $3.25 million. I asked both Plummer and Antani why this bill has taken so long to get to the governor. At the same time, both said children could be harmed without this law. They both also say the slow pace is part of the normal legislative process. Plummer told me he'll keep pushing his colleagues in the Senate to meet his goal of passage by the end of the year. I'm sure there are situations where we could protect more kids. You know, there's, there's abuse going on every day, neglect and abuse going on every day. So we have to get this passed. I asked on Tani if Plummer's goal can be met by December. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's feasible. The I team will continue to follow the progress of this bill at the State House in Columbus. We'll let you know if and when it passes the Senate and gets sent on to Governor DeWine for his signature. In Dayton, for the I team, I'm John Bedell, New Center 7.